What's up guys? Welcome to the Crypto Savvy channel. I'm Craig and let's get into the charts. We're going to start out with the Dow and we're going to look at the DXY a little bit. Then Bitcoin, we're, it's going to be a quick update. We're just going to kind of look at a little bit of the macro and then into the smaller time frames and what we're looking at for the more immediate. We'll go all the way down into the one hour. So as of right now, we talked about this yesterday, that 33,271 on the Dow. If we open and close today's candle below there, most likely we're headed back down to test the center of this channel again around the 31.4, uh, 31.5 range. Uh, it looks like we're going to break yesterday's low right now as I'm making this video. But another thing we were looking at here was the higher high in the RS or yeah, higher high in the RSI, lower high in the price action, hidden bearish divergence. Most likely come back down to test this bottom down here. Now, like I said, we could bounce around in here. This may take a few days to get down here unless we have a big dump in the market. If we do, obviously, you know what happens to Bitcoin then. Let's look at the DXY. So the DXY still looking bullish. Um, we got rejected as expected at the top here, our, our last high. Once we break that, I think we retest it for support and then come up to that 112 range. We look at the bigger picture on the daily, on the Dow. Uh, let's, or I'm sorry, on the DXY. As you guys know, we broke out right here, came back down, tested it for support. If we take the measured move from that breakout, it's about uh, 122 range. We put a target on there. And again, this is just going to be a quick update. If you want more detailed updates, check yesterday's video. I went into the bigger time frames in Bitcoin and also looked at Ethereum, Litecoin, XRP, gold and silver in yesterday's video. So definitely check it out. But as of right now, this is kind of what I'm looking for here um, in the daily time frame. So this obviously will take some time. 112 is our next target for DXY. And looking at the weekly. So the weekly level now that I am looking at for a break, uh, this is where I think would be a great place to short is at 20,855 if that's broken. Um, if that's broken, our target from there is the measured move of this rising broadening wedge. Uh, and that gets us down to around that 14.5 range. Now, if that's able to hold, we, we do not break that. Our next level for the weekly resistance is around 22.8. If that is able to break this week, then we're looking at 24.3, which is the 13 EMA. Uh, 200 EMA is around 26.5, and then our 21 EMA up here is going to be around that 28. So still looking at the possibility of 28 if 20,850 isn't broken. If that's broken, I'm looking for the 14.5. Now we'll take a look at the more small, more immediate time frames here in a minute. Before we do, make sure you check out Prime XBT. Links down below in the description. Use my promo code SAVVY50 to get you up to a $7,000 bonus. SAVVY25 will get you 25% off your fees. You can trade Forex, gold, silver, uh, Bitcoin, altcoins, oil, everything all from one exchange. You can also put in longs and shorts at the same time so you can hedge your own trades. Definitely check them out. They don't trade against you like the scammy exchanges and they don't clump all your trades all together. Uh, one more thing, my wife's webpage, Ink Your Image, that link is also down below. She has a lot of cool stuff on here. She does it all herself, so definitely check it out. Help support the channel. All right. Now looking at the four hours. So this is what we've been watching. These blue lines here were old lows, right? We never came back up to break this one. Now, remember, everyone was calling the bottom here, 33.1. It wasn't going to break. We broke right through it. Didn't even get a bounce. Next low, 25.331. That was it. Wasn't going to go there because it couldn't grow below 20,000. Broke right through it. Broke right through 20,000. Came back up, did not get to retest that 2531, just like it didn't retest the 32.9, right? So if we get above this 25331, then I'm looking for that 28, possibly. Um, right now, let's take a look at where we're at. This is our new low, that 17.6 that everyone thinks will hold, which it may, not saying it won't. But chances are, if we get down to that level, it's not going to hold. And our next area, which we're going to look at now, um, same thing we're looking at right here. 
Now, as you can see, this could be a rising broadening wedge, and that also lines up with that 28,000. So again, if we can't break the 20,850 range, then we could be heading as high as these levels. But let's take a look at the one hour and see what's going on. So there's a lot of numbers here, right? But there is reasoning behind them. Let me show you that reasoning. So if we get back up to retest the top of this, let's say if we were able to do that today, that would be around the 20, 21, 21.9 range, right? Um, and then would we come back down to retest this low again? This does look like a bear flag. Now in the bullish case, if we come up and we break this 21.9, 21.950 range today, um, if you guys remember, 22.1 was my old target from up here from the break of what I was looking at as in a head and shoulders right here. And the break line was right here. The measured move got us down to that 22.1. And that 22.1, remember, every time we make a uh, target, a measured move target like that, when it breaks, it usually becomes resistance. So that would be the area I would watch for resistance if we break the 21.9. We break 21.9, look for 22.1. If 22.1 breaks, I would be looking for this 22.920 range. And that's just a measured move of the move up. Now that's the bullish case. Bearish case is we break back down, um, head back down towards the 20,000, what is this? 20,800, 20,900. So if we break that range to the downside, that measured move, just measuring the channel, would get us down towards that 19,950 19, right in that range. Now, if we look at this as a bear flag from the break of this trend, measure this as the flagpole. Say we break down there. 18,5 is the target after that. Let me get this stuff off of here. And looking at this trend break right here, let me readjust this. Bring this over. Okay, so where we broke the trend was right here. So if we take a measured move. Oh, we just did that. Let me move this over. So in the, the other way we could look at this is this trend break right here. And if we put this right to the trend break down to the bottom, that will give us our next level 17.3, which lines up right with our old bottom here. So that's gonna be a definite area to watch. So remember, here's basically what we're looking for today. If we break this 19 or 20,950 range, again, watch for that 20,850 range. But according to the one hour, if we break that, our next level is 961. We may get a bounce, may retest. If this breaks through, our next level is 18.6. If this breaks through, our next level is at 17.3 to 17.4. That doesn't mean this happens in a day. We'll probably bounce around here for a while, but remember also we gotta keep an eye on the Dow here. Um, and open and close of today's daily candle. It's already open below 33.271. If it closes below that, I think we have much more downside to go. So be careful, be cautious. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget, smash those thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of the video. Also, share the video if you would. And if you have not subscribed, make sure you do. And make sure your notification bells are on to get my daily updates. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. I'm out.